Part 23, we're back in Night City. I just found this Quadra uh, 66. I'm not sure what the, the type is, but I found it right over here in this building on Watson's North End. So specifically, that is this warehouse right here. And the keys were in a box right next to it. So this is really cool. I know for a fact this wasn't here uh, in the first playthrough because Della Main vehicles drive right through here and I explored this whole area um, the first time I did it. So this is really awesome. I haven't bought any other cars. I've just been collecting them and driving what I get. So uh, I know we talked about wanting a Badlands car. This is a Badlands car. This is a bad boy right here. I almost bought the Javelina uh, for the Badlands like driving around missions, uh, which is I think 99,000 eddies. But the fact that we found this, oh my gosh, how cool is that? Anyways, back into the storyline here. Um, right now, I've got Pan Am marked. Um, we had a ton of phone calls. I've just been kind of exploring and not really playing the, the storyline, obviously. That's why there's a big gap between 22 and 23. Um, but Pan Am did call. She needs some help. Uh, from there, we've had a side gig, side gig pop up with Dakota Smith. We've done a couple of those. Um, we've also had another Badlands race with Claire. We've got, uh, Jablonski, he's been there for a minute. Um, River Ward called, uh, the Perales is called, Del Maine called. We have so much to do. Takamura is still there. Uh, and also Judy. So Judy's, uh, planning something with clouds, uh, in the wake of, of Evelyn. Um, and then of course Takamura. So, uh, I think what we're going to do, there's the Perales is. Um, I think what we're going to do is, is head out to Pan Am first, just because I'm really excited about finding this new car. And I kind of want to drive it out in the Badlands. <clears throat> so I figured that would be a, a fun place to start. How cool is that? Jeez. I want to see what it looks like on the inside. Not too shabby. I would love to make one of these uh, Quadra vehicles in real life. So cool. And I think that just the Quadra manufacturer is my favorite for the cyberpunk games. Like I know a lot of people like the Catburn and the, I think it's called a Rayon. <clears throat> You know, the the high-scale cars, but I'm all about these off-road muscle hybrids. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, we're going to have to drive everywhere now. Maybe we should have fast traveled though. I mean, we could have uh, picked up the car because we found the keys close. So I'm, I'm pretty sure. I know I haven't tested it fully yet, but I'm pretty sure this is our car now. I did upload a short about this, but um, the distance between my shorts are kind of like daily. You know, I'm just making them with clips of our playthroughs, but the actual episodes are being released uh, daily at 5 p.m. Eastern, so uh, you'd have to look through my shorts, uh, I don't probably two weeks back to find when when I found this and, and how excited I was and the, the Johnny Silverhand dialogue that comes with with finding this car. I know there's a lot of time where I was like, man, I wish I was recording this. 
because there's been a few cool things, but for the most part, those side missions are just like a lot of traveling and a lot of like stealth and not action, and they don't really tie into the story. If they do, I might, you know, I, I haven't, of course, I haven't played all the way through the game. Um, so if they end up being extremely meaningful, I'll probably go back and just do another playthrough and try to make some different decisions with hindsight. just mentioned that I was just thinking about some of the decisions I would change and I remember remember that maelstrom guy that we let out of that container with a bomb tied to him we never kind of had closure or revisited that and this car is so cool So I'm pretty sure this one right here is a uh, javelina. I mean, or maybe not. Maybe they're the exact same car. So cool. Stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. I'm we supposed to go over there? For a visit from Excuse Biotechnica me. or a fourth corporate war. Bruh. The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, oh, aware, prepared. I do I. V, you're here. What is she doing here? What this dude just texted me? I forbade you from me. even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think I'm that stupid? I am starting to wonder. Damn it to hell, Saul! Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this—a chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? I'm not trying to We're get involved here. We're off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. I don't even know why I'm here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. Mm. What's this basilisk yeah, nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? So I wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. 
He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Okay. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. Mm. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Okay. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the All basilisk right. cow. Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help we just yet. Tore down that okay, AV. Let's so go talk to the rest. I'm not doubting her at all. Whatever the basilisk is. So just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Mm -hmm. High risk, high reward. Can't say that though, can you? Oh, this must be... Oh, it's not. Oh, that was Pan Am's truck. Maybe it is. I think that thing's really cool. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. Look how we'll happy attack from behind, then get the himself. hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Ooh. Sunshine. I don't have enough. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Uh. Meet you there. Not Man. a problem. Come on, let's go. I usually just. I, think I heard a little shake in that voice. Follow the. You did not. Whoever the leader of the gang is, you know. If we're in it, we're in it. I kind of want to drive that car around, Badlands. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Look it, I... <sighs> oh, yeah, where's my car? Can I ride now? You think? No, I read. There's only fictions capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's fun.
All right, while we're out here, I know we got a couple things to do. Let's take down these cyber psychos. I found a very easy way to like collect these people without killing them for a Gina. But every time I just like pass one, I just do it right quick. Cyber psychos aren't really hard. Oh my gosh, thought I could drive through this. Fun to drive. Whoa. You guys are gonna jump out and handle the business right quick. Probably gonna have to run somewhere. Yeah, follow the center or whatever. Hey, Raffins are hunting someone in the Badlands. The word psycho's been mentioned. Check it out. If it is a cyber psycho, don't kill him. At least try not to. I have people who can get him into experimental therapy, and therapy doesn't work on the dead. Sending you the details. Do I have to actually scan this? I've only run into one or two cyber psychos that aren't pretty straightforward. So hopefully this isn't one of those times where I'm gonna have to spend a significant amount of this episode fighting this guy. Is that him? Has to be. Is he standing up there? I guess I'll hit this on the way back. I got a sniper. That thing's not really filling up, so I don't think I'm any any like grave danger of spoiling the mission. One of the things about getting these cyber psychos is catching them off guard. and making sure you see them first. If you want to do it like quickly. Yo, do I, are you serious right now? Okay, I, I think I've scanned all the damn clues here. Who would have thought? Who would have thought what, what was it? Yo. Oh, fuck. Okay, he's sniping. Good shot. Okay, I see ya. Okay, got him. Hey, shoot me if I'm down here, bud.
think that's it. That is not it. Oh, nice. Can I just disarm this right quick? Thank you. And cripple movement, the one that we... Oh, you... What a dumbass thing. Cripple movement, one more time. There we go. Walk up behind these guys. Non-lethal takedown. Better not miss anything. Read. Okay, good. And this guy was in the military, brothers in arms. Difficult test. Now he's alive. BDBs. There's mines all over the place, too. I don't want to meet Takamura. I know we're out in the Badlands for a reason here. That's the train station. Yeah. That looks to be the next one. Just keep on keeping on. crazy on the handling when you get into the like actual off-road. Another phone call that I got that was really interesting was Sandra Dorsett, the girl that we saved in the first, I think probably first three episodes, the girl that was in the ice bath, and she is looking to either recover something or maybe it's revenge work, but dang, I don't, I didn't see that one pop up on the mini-map when we were looking earlier. But that's one that I'm excited to follow up on. I think that's really cool that they're tying the beginning of the story back in this late. I wouldn't say this late. I think we're, yeah, 60% away. No, that's our reputation. I'm not sure how far we are on the playthrough. You guys are everywhere. Can I leave this here? It wouldn't let me drive any closer. I don't want to leave it on the track.
I was thinking about buying this car too. Like, I think there's Hello, a coyote. Babe. Are we ready? What's up, guys? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Pick up that junk's like 180. The stairs it is then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge hmm junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are Sure thing. Well, something. Oh, that. Not here. Dried meat. That jerky. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. That was a punch card, wasn't it? No, just the instructions. Nothing here. Hmm. Well, well, well. That's it. Got something. Good job. I think Carol should have just came up Wealthy? here. The card in the reader. <sighs> here goes nothing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. What do you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. Not a whole but lot of good options is there. Is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No. I know everything I need to. 
I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. <clears throat> mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes. I mean, we haven't Carol done a whole lot with from time Pan to time. Am to like. Everything be best is proceeding as planned. Whatever. For now. But I guess that's the part of the story of the game. Is that their friends? Or maybe because I chose the option to like flirt with her. <clears throat> Damn. Man. I don't want to straight up lie. See if she texts back right here. Under control. The convoy is all I don't know. I think I liked way. it better up north. Less sand and all. I can't remember feeling That's so bitchy. I I've got some trouble with the signal range. People. Who knows? Maybe it's Dakota and her damn drink catcher. Know why I read? Because only fiction's capable of conjuring up any kind of sense about this world. Good stuff. You worried about song? Do I have to talk to all these you're people? You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? I don't know. I think I liked it better new. up north. Scorpion. This sand and all. You came home from the war. Heads so full itchy. of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. I mean, I don't... Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Don't talk about the war much. <laughs> What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But y'all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? 
That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Anything happens, wake me up. Unless you want a nap, too. She rolling her eyes? I'll just lie here a while, by her side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, V. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Here we go. Let's ride, V. Obviously, you don't need the knife. Shotgun. And I think the revolver. This thing's pretty sweet. Oh, dude, this guy's like shooting me point blank. Honestly, this is Militech supposed to be the military, and this is like borderline terrorism right here. Oh! Come on, the train! Oh, that was. That was pretty sketch. I'm just trying to pick up all the loot.
Oh, that was the right way. Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Okay, so if I understand this correctly, we just hijacked Militech because they were transporting this basilisk. And the basilisk is Militech technology, a old oh, like combat of vehicle of some sort. Just as I said it would. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting. Simon, if you ask me. I'll take care of this myself. I want to see this thing. Fuck! Pan Am! So Where's it Pan begins. Am? Oh, shit. I was supposed to be over here. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. That guy was real close. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. All right, Pan Am. She's ballsy. Gotta give her that. I'm gonna check out the gun store right quick. See if these guys got anything. I want to see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. Crafting spec, okay. Precision salt. Okay. So I was going to buy one of these. 
and put the whatever mod slot but it looks like the one I have has two in there already so that's fine far enough out so we can call our car where is it though This is a side job. Really? I mean, do we do this one? We're right here. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, circle. Hey, V, come here. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh... Wash them away. Meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay. I'll help. All right, we'll Come on, this. Then. This must be for Scorpion. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now. Yeah. Yesterday. Mm. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Is this not Mitch's car? What in hell? Mitch, you hear me? Yep. But more driving, less talking. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. Oh, hey. Haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm-hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little Girl Scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment. Johnny's kind of a deep bag. Collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. Copy. Almost there now. Okay, copy. Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine.
Holy shit! Mitch, what the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Hmm. I mean... If that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here we go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. See the drivers already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two, and he'll puff up like a balloon. I mean, he's been dead for a while. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick! Before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, I, nothing like a good cold one. I picked drink it, so I wonder if I missed the animation there. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch. Why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on, it. it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. I mean, this is weird like i didn't really know scorpion and i don't really know mitch and the fact that like i got his motorcycle and his action figure and the fact he wanted me to have it i don't know man am i missing something type 66 hoon that's a bad boy i don't know where it's at Anyways, guys, we're going to close out part 23 just like that. Is it part 23? Part 22 or 23? I don't quite remember. But we're going to close it out out here in the Badlands from here. Uh, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. There's tons of indicators up on the map. We're going to jump right back into it. Keep on keeping on. Thank you guys for joining me.